Well, temperatures are just now climbing above 32 degrees after hours of freezing wet weather. That's good news, especially for drivers, emergency responders, and TxDOT crews after a long and messy night. Gave you Tina Shively live near Mopac in 2222 with a look at what happened on the roads in the early hours of the morning and the current conditions. Hello, Tina. Hello, Brian and Yvonne. Yeah, we did see some slick spots in parking lots and on the roads, side roads on the way over here to this spot for midday. But looking at Mopac where I'm standing right now, looks like last night's event was more of a rain event and not of a snow or sleet event. Roads just wet right now, both on the frontage road and here on the main drive on Mopac. And we are just south of Far West Boulevard. That's where our crews captured cars sliding around on the road before dawn. Others spun their wheels trying to get some traction to get where they need to go. And we also saw some first responders out there. They also had places to be. And quickly, of course, we saw this ambulance hurrying to make an important call this morning. They had no choice. They had to go quickly regardless of those road conditions. Now, I was at the intersection of 183 and 620 in Cedar Park, where it seemed slow and steady was the wor were the words of the morning. In the five hours I watched traffic come off the 183 exit ramp, I didn't see a single crash or even a fishtail. Now keep in mind, until those warmer temperatures that we're seeing, we're going to see into the afternoon take hold, there will still be some slippery spots in parking lots on the way to your car, on the way to your office this afternoon. Uh, Austin, Travis County EMS tell us that just between now and midnight, nine people called in because they slipped and fell and they needed assistance. So definitely not over that way. Take care if you have to be out this afternoon. Brian and Yvonne, back to you. All right.